Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is 8 p.m. on this May the 4th, 2024. And may the 4th be with you indeed. I am Buckminster, and this is Weekly Toho Roulette. Until, you know, the GBN net login requirement gets in, put in place and people in 100 plus countries are no longer able to view our stream. But I digress. Actually, no, I'm not going to digress. I'm just going to actually go on to that for a little bit. Uh, pardon the political soapbox for the moment, but... Fuck Sony. I'm not going to be one of those people who refunds the game, review bombs, or goes and posts in completely unrelated channels demanding that, you know, Sony reverse what they're doing with Helldivers 2, but Sony needs to reverse what they're doing with Helldivers 2. Also, in general, people that resort to death threats over the changes in a video game can go suck an egg. I mean, that, that's just stupid. I mean, how, how smooth brain are you? But yeah, so in, in case those of you are out of the loop on what's going on, uh, because uh, one of my favorite games to be playing lately has been Helldivers 2. When when Helldivers 2 originally launched, uh, there was a requirement to link to your PlayStation Network account because the game was a Sony exclusive. And, and while that, that, that may seem a little strange on the PC, uh, it's, it's Sony. So, you know, Sony does what Sony does. Unfortunately, at the time when they released the game, uh, Steam had a larger friend list allowance than PSN did. So people who linked their PSN accounts and had more friends on Steam than PSN could handle, uh, it completely hosed their games and they couldn't play. So Sony backed off on the requirement and made it optional. Three months later, Sony has decided, well, everything, yeah, you know, all the fires are out, so let's re-implement that enforced PSN requirement. Oh, wait, a whole bunch of people bought the game when it wasn't enforced, and they're in countries where we don't allow you to make a PSN account? <laughs> Lol, sucks to be you. So yeah, there's there's a lot of really upset Helldivers 2 players right now who are calling for boycotts, refunding the game on Steam, being general jackasses of themselves. Uh, some, some initial community manager statements, probably in the heat of the moment, weren't the best worded. I don't know exactly what happened on that, but you know, the, the mob is calling for a number of them to be fired, as the mob does. Of course, uh, some of these people are also, you know, declaring them woke, DEI, you know, in place, you know, you know, shills of people who, you know, didn't deserve the job and don't understand what they're doing or anything. And well, while some of that might be correct, I mean, maybe they don't actually understand a community manager job. Uh, the fact that they just used woke or, you know, DEI, I don't even remember what that acronym stands for, but it's something about equality. And yeah. Diversity, equality, inclusion. Okay, thank you, Schmo. Yeah. Well, uh, evidently, you know, woke DEI shit is, you know, the cause of the downfall of humanity. So, uh, man, they need to hire some real men over there. And it's like, oh, wow, you just outed yourself as a sexist. All right, good job. Have I mentioned how much I hate humanity? 
we suck in general. Not all of us, yeah, to certain degrees, but uh, yeah, that's 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 not allowed. Family team, sorry, no. If you're on the internet, you have to be opinionated assholes. Oh no! See, woke is the new SJW. If it's something they disagree with, it's woke. So yeah. So Sony, has, Sony's probably not going to care one bit about what's going on. The backlash against the game is going to kill it because a bunch of idiots uh, in in the course of trying to save their favorite game is going are going to destroy it. And I guess we still have Toho. I mean, uh, Zune hasn't done anything inflammatory yet that I'm aware of. So, I mean, other than Mari existing. But. Oh, and, and LOLK. I mean, th th there's that too, yeah. We really do need to consume as much beer. If we consumed as much beer as Zoom did, maybe things would be better. So, Tay, what game that isn't Helldivers 2 are we going to be playing today? Well, at least I don't have to care. <laughs> nice. Really? I just start the game and you decide to... Wow, whatever. This ought to give you an example of just how little I care today. We're going to play as Lyrica. Good old Cherno, dying already. Talked shit and got hit. That seems about right. Okay, I can't lose to churn. That that would just be sad. There we go. What are conventions? Well, I think those are things I used to do a long time ago. Shoe? Who do you think is playing, Knight? There you go. Yep. 
If it's POFE, Lunny is a requirement. I just no longer have to care because I already got my 1cc. probably find out what my level one charge does. Uh, it seems like it does nothing. stays put for a little bit. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. Okay. Now I understand what's going on with it. Come up with that pun all by yourself, or did you have a little treble? Oh, I should probably pay attention. Is it sweet chin music? It's only stage four. Oh my god. I need this to be a four rounder. Stop it, Sakia. Of course, if I need, if, if I wanted that, I shouldn't have ended up with uh, BOFE. But at least I can stand back at a little more than. Ah, finally. <laughs> so this week was fun at work. It was spade. It's, it's spade. 
It was state inspection. Oh, fuck my What did they inspect? Uh, buses, for one. And some random people got selected for drive-alongs for uh, making sure they're conforming to state requirements on, you know, how you actually drive and operate the bus. Uh, a whole lot of bureaucratic bullshit about what can and can't be on the bus because it's not secured. Because, um, you know, anything that's not actually secured, so anything that can become a projectile, isn't allowed. So, like, I can't have my stuff in a bag behind my seat. It has to somehow be secured. So, like, if the strap is looped around the seat so it possibly can't move at all, then that's okay. But just having it behind my seat, where it's probably not going to move anywhere in, in the case of an accident anyway. Nope, not allowed. But the students can have their backpacks unsecured. You know, you know things like our cleaning products, uh, you know, dust pans for our brooms. Yeah, no, 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 we can't have any of that. Oh, the wipe balls that we use for doing... Uh, pre-trip checks, or in the case of one of my uh, special needs students, that we actually give them to uh, teeth on, because they have a lot of unfortunate drool issues. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Can't have that unsecured, so, you know, that has to be off the bus, or somewhere secure, and my bus has no storage, so it's just a bunch of bullshit that, of course, we completely ignore after the state inspection stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it, it's technically safer for them not to be. If only for the fact that it's, you know, the potential of 70-something students that I don't have to make sure get unbelted in the case of a bus evacuation. But yeah, yeah. And, of course, they go over other things on, on the bus for, like, you know, safety measures and things like that. Like, uh, one of the places where we got dinged is the uh, low-air warning light on my bus didn't work. The, uh, the, the alarm would go off, but the light wouldn't light. So, uh, mechanics got in trouble for that one, and they had to fix it. <laughs> Which, unfortunately, meant that my bus was out of commission for two and a half, for like three days. Because uh, I, I got to use it Monday morning. Monday afternoon, they called it in to the shop. Tuesday morning, I got it back because nobody had told me otherwise. Tuesday afternoon, they called it back into the shop. Wednesday, I didn't have it at all. Thursday, I got to drive it in the morning because it was fixed, supposedly. And then that afternoon, it broke. And, and when I say my bus broke, I mean the repairs they just made broke worse than the situation was to begin with. Because remember, the alarm would go off, but the light didn't come on. Well, they fixed it to the state satisfaction so that the alarm and the light would come on. And it and uh, it worked when they parked it. And then when I went to pre-trip, neither of them worked. So they had to take my bus back again and try to fix that. And then they got it fixed and they gave it back to me. And it worked that morning. And that afternoon, it broke again. And then they managed to get it working for the for the route, and it was fine on Friday. But yeah. Oh, by the way, did I mention that I drive a 23-year-old bus? Oh, in that case, yeah, I, I drove a spare. 
yeah, I was I was on the bus that uh, has something wrong with its steering. Not not so bad that uh, it um, it's unsafe to drive or anything, but it's it's wonky. It, it's yeah, we're gonna go with wonky. But um, it's like, oh my god, why, why this week, why? <sighs> it's, is it Canadian meat? Oh no, it's American. Uh, it, it was a uh, an international transit bus. Uh, International's the company name, not a a designation. And it, as far as I know, it was made in the U.S. I mean, it's it's twenty three years old. It's it's got problems, but yeah, it has electrical gremlins, and so <laughs> it needs to be rolled into the. Uh, it, it needs to be rolled into the the river and drowned, and or, or I I was thinking it needs a, a Viking funeral. It needs to be set on fire. Yeah, it, 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 you make fun of it, pinata yokai, but I've I've actually been driving it, and the uh, controller that keeps. Uh, air going to the pneumatic door broke like it, it actually killed a resettable circuit breaker on the bus to the point where it wouldn't reset itself it was just dead and so i'm rounding a corner and all of a sudden my service door flies open and then it just won't close while i'm on route Again, 23-year-old bus. But yeah. Uh, amusingly enough, going back to to your your statement there, Schmo, I've never had any problems with its drive line, except when it developed a rear axle seal leak. And then they had to go fix that. But it rolled. It rolled fine. It just leaked. <laughs> and yes. 2001 was 23 years ago. We are old. And now, it's time for Schmo. Good old Schmo. 